Hello, welcome to Paul's Take. In uh, breaking news, Britain's first female astronaut, and actually first astronaut altogether, says there are definitely aliens. Without a doubt, not even a smidge of a doubt, there's definitely aliens out there. And even they might be here living among us. So, be the nice guy I am, I decided to let you know, well, let's see, let's go back a little bit. All right, so what is my understanding is the reason why they're here is because they need a new home, all right? They need to survive. There's not like a major alien conspiracy. They just need a place to live, okay? And they don't want to be discovered. They want to just live in Kumbaya with everybody else and just survive. Like everybody else, you know, make a living. And so a lot of people, for one, may not realize that they're living among aliens. And even more so, they may not realize they're an alien themselves. Because a good way to survive is not to think you're an alien at all. Just think you're a regular Joe human being. Like their parents wouldn't tell you. Like if, you're, if your dad and your mom was an alien there from Uranus or something, Neptune, Mars, some other far off land, they're not going to tell their kids they're an alien because they might say something and then they get dissected and taken to labs and poked and probed and all that stuff. So they just tell their kids, oh no, we're from Ohio or from Florida. That's why we're a little different. So I put together a little list that, uh, to help you figure out if maybe you are an alien. Not 100% sure, but this is a good starting point. So first place, if your skin is green, a lot of alien skin is green. So if your skin is green, not just a little green, but really green, and maybe you're using makeup to cover up, you're probably an alien, maybe a crocodile. If your skin is really scaly, not talking about like my dry skin from the, from the weather, but literally, your skin looks like a lizard skin with scales, small nose, funny looking eyes. Maybe your eyes are shaped like a cat versus round like your neighbors. You might be an alien. If you have one mouth that opens up to another mouth that protrudes out, that's a good hint. But you might be an alien. Not saying for sure, but probably. If you have a small face and a big old dome head and big eyes, and your skin is like gray, you could be an alien. If, for the most part, you look like everybody else, but you don't have a stitch of hair on you, and your skin is basically white as a piece of paper, you could be an alien. And let's see here, what else? Also, if you ever get around people, or whenever you're around somebody that's hurt, they busted their ankle or something, or got a cut on them, your finger starts to glow. Hmm, that's not normal. Most humans can't do that, so you might be an alien. Or, if you have dreads, and a lot of people have dreads, but if your dreads are different than everybody else's, because yours is not made out of hair, it's made out of some kind of like tubes or something, and you're uglier than heck, you might be an alien. Well, that's about the, that's all the tips I want to give you today. So if you have some of those descriptions, some of them sound like you, you're like, hey, that kind of sounds like me. Or you have a combination of a couple. Maybe I wouldn't go to the doctor. Maybe you're an alien. Thanks for watching Paul's Take. That's my take on the alien stuff. And please hit like and subscribe. Support the channel. It helps a lot. And check out all my other videos. Like this one right here. Thanks for watching.